Good evening. This is Emily Osman and Anne Courtney from the St. Mary of the Assumption Catholic Church in Hokesin, Delaware. We are on day 45 of our 54-day Rosary Novena. We give thanks for a courageous and heroic church and country with joy in truth and in God's power. We give thanks for the inalienable and immutable dignity of human life, the sanctity of the family, religious freedom, and for our president and our government. We also give thanks for a healthy economy and the growth in charity, unity, and peace. We pray for our own intentions and the intentions of those who have asked for our prayers. Please feel free to use our chat box for your intentions. Before we pray the rosary, let us pray the nine-month novena to Our Lady of Guadalupe by Cardinal Raymond Burke. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Virgin Mother of God, we fly to your protection and beg your intercession against the darkness and sin which evermore enveloped the world and menaced the Church. Your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, gave you to us as our Mother, as he died on the cross for our salvation. So too, in 1531, when darkness and sin beset us, he sent you as Our Lady of Guadalupe on Tepeya to lead us to him who alone is our light and our salvation. Through your apparitions on Tepeya and your abiding presence with us on the miraculous mantle of your messenger, Saint Juan Diego, millions of souls converted to faith in your divine Son. Through this novena and our consecration to you, we humbly implore your intercession for our daily conversion of life to him and the conversion of millions more who do not yet believe in him. In our homes and in our nation, lead us to him who alone wins the victory over sin and darkness in us and in the world. Unite our hearts to your immaculate heart so that they may find their true and lasting home in the most sacred heart of Jesus. Ever guide us along the pilgrimage of life to our eternal home with him. So may our hearts, one with yours, always trust in God's promise of salvation, in his never-failing mercy toward all who turn to him with a humble and contrite heart. Through this novena and our consecration to you, O Virgin of Guadalupe, lead all souls in America and throughout the world to your divine Son, in whose name we pray. Amen. Before we continue, let us reflect on God's words. Our reflection today is from daily scripture. And behold, a leper came to him and knelt before him, saying, Lord, if you will, you can make me clean. And he stretched out his hand and touched him, saying, I will be clean and immediately his leprosy was cleansed matthew chapter 8 verses 2 and 3. the leper who came to jesus did something quite remarkable he approached jesus confidently and humbly expecting that jesus could and would heal him normally a leper would be stoned or at least warded off if he tried to come near a rabbi Jesus not only grants the man his request, but he demonstrates the personal love, compassion, and tenderness of God in his physical touch. The medical knowledge of his day of this of his day would have regarded such contact as grave risk for incurring infection. Jesus met the man's misery with compassion and tender kindness. He communicated the love and mercy of God in a sign that spoke more eloquently than words. He touched the man and made him clean, not only physically, but spiritually as well. Some 12 centuries later, a man named Francis met a leper on the road as he journeyed towards Assisi. A contemporary of Francis wrote, quote, Though the leper caused him no small disgust and horror, he nonetheless got off the horse and prepared to kiss the leper. But when the leper put out his hand as though to receive something, he received money along with a kiss." End quote. From the Life of St. Francis by Thomas of Silano. Francis did what seemed humanly impossible, 
because he was filled with the love and compassion of Jesus Christ. The Holy Spirit inflames our hearts with the fire of Christ's love that we may reach out to others with compassionate care and kindness, especially to those who have been rejected, mistreated, and left utterly alone. Let us pray. May the power of your love, Lord Jesus Christ, fiery and sweet as honey, so absorbed our hearts as to withdraw them from all that is under heaven. Grant that we may be ready to die for love of your love, as you died for love of our love. Let us now begin our rosary, the glorious mysteries of the Holy Rosary of her Blessed Virgin Mother. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In thanksgiving, hail, Queen of the Most Holy Rosary, Mother Mary, hail. At thy feet we gratefully kneel to offer thee a crown of roses, full-blown white roses tinged with the red of the passion to remind thee of thy glories, fruits of the sufferings of thy Son and thee, each bud recalling to thee a holy mystery, each ten bound together with our petition for a particular grace. O Holy Queen, dispenser of God's graces and mother of all who invoke thee, thou canst not look upon our gift and fail to see its binding. As thou receivest our gift, so wilt thou receive our thanksgiving. From thy bounty thou hast given us the favor we so earnestly and trustingly sought. We despaired not of what we asked of thee, and thou hast truly shown thyself our mother. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell on the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. For an increase in faith, hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. For abundant hope, hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. For inexhaustible charity, hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The first glorious mystery, the resurrection. I pray not for them, but also for those who will, who will believe in me through their word. John chapter 17, verse 20. For many people, belief in the end of the world is a fairy tale or an escape mechanism born of chaotic world conditions. For a Christian, it is neither a myth nor a sedative. The world's collapse and Christ's second coming are as much a part of his faith as the world's creation and Christ's first coming at Nazareth. The glorified Savior who made the earth tremble at his resurrection will shake the heavens on the last day. He was born at Bethlehem, humble and meek. In the last times, he will appear as the God of power and love who fulfills the world. I may not live to see the last day. Still, Jesus will be my Lord. Am I ready for Christ's coming? Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth 
as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. We bind these full-blown roses with a petition for the virtue of faith, and humbly lay this bouquet at thy feet. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The second glorious mystery, the ascension of our Lord. Therefore my heart has been glad and my tongue has exalted. My flesh, too, will dwell in hope. Acts chapter 2 verse 26. For the apostles, ascension day was one of subdued joy. Joy because Jesus was going to the Father, subdued because he was leaving them. There was about all of it an air of quiet peacefulness. The apostles were silent as Jesus blessed them, silent as he rose out of sight. They remained there in silence until two angels sent them off. Jesus will come again, just as he ascended. In glory in the clouds of heaven surrounded by angelic armies and what God has begun with the creation of the world he will finish with the fullness of the coming of the kingdom of God by the promise of Christ's second coming I am assured of the triumph of God over evil our Father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. We bind these full-blown roses with a petition for the virtue of hope, and humbly lay this bouquet at thy feet. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The third glorious mystery, the descent of the Holy Spirit. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. John chapter 1 verse 5. In God's providence, it's always darkest just before dawn. When the world was morally corrupt, the Christ child came to save it. When the letter of the law had stifled the spirit of Jewish piety, Jesus came that they might have life. While the apostles huddled together in an upper room, all their hopes in Jesus dashed by his death, the risen Lord appeared in the midst of them. And in the last days of the world, when charity will grow cold, Jesus will restore all things to God. When it was dark, Jesus came unto them. When my soul is in darkness, God is at hand. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. We bind these full-blown roses with a petition for the virtue of charity, and humbly lay this bouquet at thy feet. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The fourth glorious mystery, the Assumption of Our Lady into Heaven. After speaking of the Church, her origin, mission, and destiny, we can find no better way to conclude than by looking to Mary. Catechism number 972. The first book of the Old Testament tells of a woman who will crush Satan's head in the last book of the new St. John describes the great battle between a woman and Satan. The woman of Genesis is Mary. The sun-robed woman of the apocalypse is the Catholic Church. Because Mary is the model of the Church, one might understand the Church with a child in her womb is Mary at the Annunciation. The Church in travail is Mary on Calvary. The church with 12 stars about her head is Mary at Pentecost, surrounded by the apostles. And the church with the moon at her feet is Mary assumed into heaven. Mary is the church's mother. I should ask her every day to protect the mystical body of her son. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. We bind these full-blown roses with a petition for the virtue of union with Christ, and humbly lay this bouquet at thy feet. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The fifth glorious mystery, the coronation of our Blessed Mother as Queen of Heaven and Earth. There, in the glory of the most holy and undivided Trinity, in the communion of all the saints, the Church is awaited by the one she venerates as the mother of her Lord and as her own mother. Catechism number 972. And so, from the Mount of Olives, they went back to the upper room, and with one heart, all joined constantly in prayer. And so, the Acts of the Apostles tells us how you spent the last days of your life, praying constantly. You, the Mother of God, having watched Him ascend to the Father, spent the rest of your life in prayer. You knew Jesus so well. It is the way He spent His life, in prayer. Of course, you would do the same. All of life, but especially the last days, are a good time to pray, a good time to be with God, a good time to spend with Mary and the Rosary. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. 
as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. We bind these full-blown roses with a petition for the virtue of union with thee, and humbly lay this bouquet at thy feet. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, O most gracious Advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us, and after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Amen. Let us pray, O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal light of salvation, grant we beseech thee that while meditating upon these mysteries of the most holy rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Spiritual Communion my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. In thanksgiving, sweet Mother Mary, we offer thee this spiritual communion to bind our bouquets in a wreath to place upon thy brow. In thanksgiving, for a courageous and heroic church and country with joy and truth and in God's power which thou in thy love hast obtained for us. Mary, Queen of Peace, please pray for us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Our Lord promised St. Gertrude, that 1,000 souls would be released from purgatory every time this prayer is said devoutly. Eternal Father, I offer you the most precious blood of thy divine Son, Jesus, in union with the Masses said throughout the world today for all the holy souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, for sinners in the universal church, for those in my own home and in my own family. Amen. Let us pray the pardon and angel prayers of Fatima to console the Sacred Heart of Jesus and the Immaculate Heart of Mary for the conversion of sinners, so that violence and war may come to an end and that peace of Christ will reign in the world. My God, I believe, I adore, I hope, and I love Thee. I beg pardon for those who do not believe, do not adore, do not hope, and do not love Thee. O most holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, I adore Thee profoundly. I offer Thee the most precious body, blood, soul, and divinity of Jesus Christ, present in all the tabernacles of the world, in reparation for the outrages, sacrileges, and indifference by which He is offended by the infinite merits of the Sacred Heart of Jesus and the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I beg the conversion of poor sinners. Let us pray for our Holy Father's obedience and faithfulness to Christ and His Church. Almighty and everlasting God, have mercy upon thy servant Pope Francis, our Supreme Pontiff, and direct him according to thy loving kindness in the way of eternal salvation that of thy gift he may ever desire, that which is pleasing unto thee, and may accomplish it with all his might, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. For our Holy Father's intentions, 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. As we pray for the inalienable and immutable dignity of human life, the sanctity of the family, religious freedom, and for our president and our government, let us ask God to give us the strength of mind and heart to defend our freedoms. O God, our creator, from your provident hand, we have received our right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. You have called us as your people and given us the right and the duty to worship you, the only true God and your Son, Jesus Christ. Through the power and working of your Holy Spirit, you call us to live out our faith in the midst of the world, bringing the light and the saving truth of the gospel to every corner of society. We ask you to bless us in our vigilance for the gift of religious liberty Give us the strength of mind and heart to readily defend our freedoms when they are threatened. Give us courage in making our voices heard on behalf of the rights of your church and the freedom of conscience of all people of faith. Grant, we pray, O Heavenly Father, a clear and united voice to all your sons and daughters gathered in your church in this decisive hour in the history of our nation, so that with every trial withstood and every danger overcome, for the sake of our children, our grandchildren, and all who come after us, this great land will always be one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. We thank you for joining us in our Rosary Novena this evening. We look forward to praying with you again tomorrow at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. May we have faith, confidence, and trust to turn to our Blessed Lady, knowing that our Mother's heart will always intercede on our behalf. So please invite your family and friends to join us as well during that rosary prayer time. Good night, and God love you.